welcome back to more Lord of the Rings Online. In this episode, I am going to be doing the instance, The Silent Street. This is a fellowship instance, and I'm going to be trying to solo it. You can do it starting at level 75 and scale up to your current level. So obviously, trying to do this solo, I'm going to have to turn the level down pretty significantly. I want to find that perfect balance point where it's super challenging, but doable. That's what I am going for. And I think a couple of seasons ago, I did a six man instance at level 80 and it was super, super tough, but doable. So I think that's what I'm gonna do it this time as well. I'm gonna try to do it at level 80. So let's go ahead and try it out. Of course, in the very distant future, I will be coming back to this to do it on level at tier two to get the tier two challenges, but I can't do that now, obviously. So let me try this. Let's go. In his haste to save Faramir, Baragond has thrown open the Fen Hollen and makes for the House of the Stewards. In his wake, the enemies of Gondor descend on Rathdenan, the silent street, all hoping to bring the rule of the Stewards to an end. Now, I have some exciting news. I am no longer a lazy warden. I have listened to your comments, and I spent many hours practicing. I spent many hours learning all of these skills, going through the gambits in detail, coming up with different gambit combinations, for different situations like single target damage, multi-target damage, healing, buffs, all sorts of stuff and trying to optimize everything and I think you will notice that I am a much better warden. I also practiced a lot so hopefully I can execute. This is my first time trying out on camera so it's always much more difficult when I'm trying to comment and everything like that so we'll see how this goes but the first thing you will notice is that I'm going to do some battle preparation. Some of you have brought this up in the comment, and Wardens can do battle preparation, that way you can execute gambits before getting into combat. And I always thought the main use for this would be to build up a really powerful gambit, so when you start the fight, you can do a lot of damage up front. But really, there are some gambits that the Warden has that give you one minute long buffs, which is really nice. I've never used these, but I really should. So I can do battle preparation, buff myself up significantly for a minute, and then go into battle. So you will notice that I am going to be doing that. So let's try it out here. I'm gonna do a ready blade, and then I'm gonna do a shield up, and I'm gonna do shield mastery, and then shield tactics. Finally, I will do dance of war, and then I'm gonna do recklessness just so I can jump in there with more damage. Actually, recklessness doesn't last very long. I should have waited a little bit, but you'll notice I get a bunch of physical mitigation, tactical mitigation, block rating, evade rating, all this stuff, and it lasts for a minute, so it's really nice. Aye, that's far enough. Members of the Withered Tree block your advance. The steward lies within, and my fellows and I have come to have a word with him. This is no business of yours. If you were wise, you would turn about and leave, but I can see that is not your way. Kill them! Okay, let me see if I can get my multi-target damage going here. Let me do Exaltation of Battle, and then let me go with a Boar's Rush right away. That does a ton of damage. Excellent. The, the one thing I still don't get is the recovery. For whatever reason, it does not reset my Gambit panel. I think it only works in combat. Once you're out of combat, I don't think it works. I think that's the deal. I don't know. Alright, so Desolation. And then I go straight into Exaltation of Battle just so I can get some early heals. And then Boar's Rush. Does a lot of damage. Combination Strike will do some quick damage. And Resounding Challenge. Very good. And let me move on to this guy. What is this debuff here? Either way, it's off. Let me keep going. The end comes. Ah, the wither tree. Always up to no good, huh? My interrupts going as well. Alright, this is going pretty well. This is going better than I thought so far, anyway. Alright, looks like we got the first boss here. Let them pass. What do you know of this devil rewarded? The smoke is as stone and none of us can pass. Is this the handiwork of Mithrandir or a trick of the stewards? 
If you tell us how to pass through the smoke, I will allow you to leave unharmed. Alright, so let me get my defensive buffs going here. And then I can fight him. Lintonar and the Wither Tree. Dance of War. I expected as much. There's always other ways to force you to speak. Let me get the exaltation of battle going. Oh my god, look at all these ads. Do an offensive strike. Okay, here we go. Get these root. Oh my god, look at all these ads! Desolation, I need to get my... Exaltation of battle up quick. Oh, this is so bad. Okay, I'm healing well. Oh my god, this is so bad. I'm trying to damage these guys quickly here. Alright, let me do another exaltation of battle. Okay, good. Got it under control. My god, that was a lot of ads. Wow, that was intense. feel really good after that fight. That was so intense. As the gloom of Nurn departs, spirits of the Falling Ignorian appear along the silent street. That was super intense. I feel like all my practice paid off because that was nuts, man. That was so many ads. I feel like the old Kippen could not have done that. Hopefully you guys appreciated that. That was intense, man. I was executing perfectly too. I missed like a couple of gambits, but overall I did really well. All right, let me get this chest here. Okay, and then let me go on through and start finding some of these guys. Some ghostly apparitions. The frame rate in here is not the best. That's okay, though. Okay, let me just aggro up some of these guys. Let me grab that guy there. This guy here. All of these, why not? Let me do an exaltation of battle. Or I will be in trouble. I love that gambit so much. When you have a million enemies in front of you. Good. So we cleared up this area. And I'm stuck in combat. Why am I in combat? Oh, is it this guy? Yeah, it's that guy. Now check out this gambit that I should have been using. Warden's Triumph. Look at this. Plus 12% melee damage. Plus 12% ranged. Plus 1 Warden Gambit damage. Pulse over time. So I don't know why I have never used that gambit before. But I 1,000% need to. So, yeah. And it lasts a long time, too. It lasts 55 seconds. But that's, like, free damage, pretty much. I don't know why I never use that. 
All right, so this little guy here is on me. Get rid of him quickly. And then we got a bunch of enemies here. Okay, let me let me round up a nice chunk of them. Let me get all of these. Get a desolation, and then again exaltation of battle for early heals. Boar's rush for a lot of damage up front. Excellent, and then I'll put some more bleeds on them. Well, they're not really bleeds, but they are damage over time. Let me do some single target damage here. Okay. Very good. Let me get these guys here. Just so they don't interrupt anything. Then I'm gonna get that group there. I'm gonna wait for this to reset real quick. Now right, let me just run in there. Invaders, men, slay them all. Stand aside. So there's a boss here, Anatar the second. Got stunned. Dang it. Quickly dispatch of him. Alright, nice. So yeah, I have to defeat the Risen Kings and Stewards of Gondor. Okay. So yeah, let me let me go ahead and get this guy. Come mock me like the others. Let me do my single target damage rotation here. Spear of Virtue and Spear of Fate are pretty good. Desolation, and now he is on his way to bleeding out very quickly. You can see how powerful that was. Yeah, so I practiced that rotation a lot. And I just melted him. So this is feeling good. All that practice is definitely paying off. All right, let me grab all these guys here. There's one little guy there. Now the thing is, I don't know if I want to... I want to fight every single last person in here. That might take a long time. I don't know. Do I even need to? I don't know. Let's do it. It's good practice. Good practice for the new warden. Okay, I'm going to ignore those little lights. I think they put a fear on you if you touch them or mess with them. Did I already go this way? I did not go this way. Let me head out here. I will not falter. All right, sir. Whatever you say. Let me just grab some of these guys here. Exaltation of battle feels so satisfying to hit that in front of a ton of enemies in front of you like that Okay, good then we got a little group back here
that boar's rush. Keep stunning me. Super annoying. Okay. Got all that. And then let me come up here. There's probably going to be a boss up here. Kind of looks like that way. Or is this where I was? Is this where I just was? No? Okay. So I'm still looking for some kings here. Risen kings. Maybe this way. Yeah, there's some enemies here. Let me round some up. is messing up my rotations. I'm sorry I'm not talking as much this episode. I am just kind of trying to get up to date with what I'm doing here. Okay. Very good. So there is another guy right there. Plague bearers. The plague take you. to heal that disease. I feel the plague within me even more. With the risen again put to rest, the path to the house of the king lies open. Okay, so I got them all. Very good. The question is, where is this? Place. Where am I going? I feel very lost in this instance. Not gonna lie. Let me go to this open area here. Surely that's kind of the general direction I need to be headed in. Oh, here we go. We got a chest and we got a bunch of enemies ahead. So surely this is the correct way. We got some gloom spirits. Let me see what they do here. With the defense, this creature suffers additional damage from ranged and tactical attacks. So, not my melee attacks. Your fear weakens you. Man, they, they actually did a lot of damage here, so... Let me heal up here for a second. And I might as well start executing my my defensive gambits here. Because they did do a lot of damage, so. Your fear weakens you. The exaltation of battle. Dang, they are doing way too much damage here. What is going on? Dang it. Dang it. Sorry, guys. All right. Um, I will come back here. Ah, sorry, I was not talking. I was paying attention. I always feel like I need to apologize whenever I'm dying like that or not talking. Sometimes I get so focused, I forget that I'm recording and I need to provide entertaining commentary for you guys. And thankfully, this just kind of spit me out right here. So there's another good chunk of them here. Alright, I think I had enough bleeds on the ones that survived. Because they all died, I guess. Okay. 
Let me do my defensive stuff. I certainly need it. Okay, let's go. Your fear weakens you. There we go. Alright, this group is nice and bun- Why was that? What was that? Oh, did they have like a debuff on them or something? That does a lot of damage when you kill them? That must have been it. That must have been it. I need to figure out how to put a combat tab here so I can examine the combat. But I think we're about ready to fight the Gloom of Nurn. So I think I'm definitely going to use some items for this. I wish I had a hope token. I do not have a hope token. Although I have the little... What is that thing called? The destiny points? I thought there was a little... A little wallet thing here. Yeah, perks here. I could probably get a hope from this thing. Hope. Plus one hope for an hour. Plus one... Uh, it's just a one hope. That's okay, though. It's going to get this 30-minute one. And then, let me see what else I can do here. Toma Defense. This healing one. Attack damage. Not gonna bother with the finesse. I am gonna eat. It'll last five minutes. Okay. And let's hope I can take on this final boss. The Gloom of Nern. Cloud thing. I need to start healing right away. The power of the Necromancer. This In this. Open to the master's will. Oh my god, what's going on? I got fear, I got no power. Ah. Ah. Dang it. Okay. That was that was intense. I think that... Well, I gotta worry about that cloud that he throws on me. Yeah, that cloud does a ton of damage. Where'd he go? Okay, he's back. Is he gonna do his whole little speech again? Yeah, the problem is that cloud. Oh, and then this thing is attacking me. Uh, it's gonna fear me. I'm gonna go running. I just want to make sure I don't run into the to the boss. Yep, 
Yeah. Trying to think what I could have done differently. I think I could have paid attention to the clouds a little bit better. Yeah, but man, those clouds last a long time, so I might need to wait for them to clear before I start this battle again. Because I think they're still active. And then these little things are super annoying. They're like an infinite spawn. And this kind of screwed me over too, because at the end there, I got feared. Oh, and they suck your power. So I gotta watch out for those. Okay, so that's why I failed. Because I I got hit by a bunch of those. It drained all my power and it feared me. If I could have gotten just a little bit more damage off on this guy, I think we would have been okay. Alright, let me go in there. Let me run behind him. You will go no further. Gothmog ordered you to be spared and brought before you. But he bears no authority over me. Read only my master's call. And my hatred for you and your ilk pales in comparison to his own. Let this be finished at long last. And let your fate be cast asunder. All right, let's do this. Let me get all these bleeds stacked as quickly as I can. Rise and serve once more. Death comes. Oh yeah, that guy does a lot of damage. Need to get heals off Darkness immediately. Death pursues you. I'm out of power. I'm screwed. Okay. Ah. Huh. Okay, guys. Well, I was feeling really good about my gameplay as a warden, but I just can't get this guy. I can't get this guy. When those little flickering light things come out, I just can't move around and range them by myself. So you have to kill them from a distance, but they come from all sides and it's so hard to avoid them and there's the clouds on the floor, so you're trying to move around, but you're stepping on clouds. And it's just too difficult, so I got somebody coming in here and then hopefully we can finish out this instance. Okay, so I got a level 140 Rune Keeper. And I gave him a little rundown of the boss. He says, let me take him first. All right. He doesn't know there's a speech. All right, let's go. You will go no further. Gothmog ordered you to be spared and brought before him. But he bears no authority over me. Read only my master's call. And my hatred for you and your ilk pales in comparison to his own. I'm standing in the cloud. I told him not to stand in the cloud. All right, he moved out. The power of the necromancer. This comes. In death. All bend to the master's will. All right, here comes the little lights. I'm 
I'm trying to get rid of the lights so he can damage the guy. Darkness surrounds you. I got feared. Alright, we did it. That was nasty. Wow, even he's about to die. Wow. Alright, let me thank him. Come, we must rescue Faramir and put an end to the needless bloodshed. There's Gandalf and Pippin. What is this? What happened here? Kippen, how did you come to this place? No, there is not time. So, I think there's a cutscene here. Alright, let me finish saying goodbye to this guy. It's always awkward. I'm trying to record, but I gotta, like, chat with these guys and... Do all this other stuff. Okay, then I gotta get the corpse here. Got some bounties. Okay, and now I think I can go this way. I hope we are not too late to save Faramir, but what has become a Baragond? Heed my words, slay me this traitor. Need I shame you and do it myself? Stop this, all of you. Stop this madness. Why have you come here, my lord? The House of Stewards is no place for one that yet lives. Why does brother fight brother here among the tombs while war floods the fields beyond the gate? When has the Lord of Gondor answered to you, Mithrandir? Do I not command my own men? You do, but there, there are those that might dispute your will, maddened and cruel as it has become. And what of Faramir's fate? Speak not of my boy Mithrandir, he is dead. Dead. Faramir lives, he is pained and burns with a fever, but he breathes yet. They have put a fire in his flesh, and his breath shall soon be but smoke. All shall burn, Mithrandir, the west too shall burn to ash. Ashes and smoke scattered in the wind. Wow. Do not take him from me. He calls for me even now. He calls, but he must seek healing before his life fades. And it still may. Your place is among your people. You must fight for them, Denethor. You know it in your hearts. That is the truth. My son is gone and the battle is lost. Maybe not today, nor on the morrow, but we cannot hold forever. Why should I wish to live without him? Should we not come to the deaths as father and son? That is beyond your authority, Denethor. Only the heathen kings of old slew their kin to ease the pain of their own ends. Let go of this madness, Denethor. There's still much that you can still do for your people. Nay, I have seen far greater than you thou knowest, old grey fool. Thy hope is not but short-sighted folly. I knew your designs well, Mithrandir, you kept close your halfling, but in our talking he has revealed all the names and purposes of my companions. With one hand you hold me forth as a shield against Mordor, and with the other you call upon this ranger to usurp me. I will not bow to one from such a fallen house, even if his claim were proved beyond all doubt. What then would you do, steward of Gondor? I would leave the chair to my son, who would rule his own design and take no guidance from queer mind of a wizard. It would seem to me then that a steward who surrenders his post in faith would not find the breath of his love to an honor abated, and you would not rob Faramir of his choice while his death still remains in doubt. Thou have stolen the love of my son, and now thou hast stolen the love of my men. But thou cannot defy my will, I shall rule my own end. Come thee hither, come if you are not all cowards at the wizard's bidding. 
Surrender thy torch and be gone. Away, all of you. Oh, wow. Pretty crazy. So passes Denethor, son of Ichthilion. So too pass the days you have known, for both good and ill they are ended. Evil deeds have been done in Rothdenin, but let go of the enmity that lies between you now, for it is not but a design of the enemy's will. Remember this, servants of the Lord, blind in your loyalty, were it not for the trees in a paragon, Faramir would be burned as well. Bear away your fallen brothers from this unhappy place, and we shall bear Faramir to place of rest and peace, or death if that be his doom. Let us be gone from this place, my friends. Very cool. Interesting instance for sure. So it has come to this, it saddens me to have seen his fall into madness. Denethor was a good man. I shall make sure that Faramir sees safe passage from here to the houses of healing, Kippen. You are no doubt needed on the Pelennor. Make haste there, old friend. And I think now I can basically just leave the instance. Man, I'm a little disappointed. I couldn't solo that boss. Ugh. I'm disappointed. I was feeling so good. I was like, yeah, I practiced so much. I'm, I'm crushing it as a warden. But I couldn't get him, man. I couldn't do it. Ah. Oh, well. I'll have to do better next time. Makes me feel better that maybe even that runekeeper almost died, but... I don't know, man. I, I feel like... I don't know. I might have been able to do it. Oh, I am, uh, I need to ride out. I forgot. I came here to repair gear after failing so hard. So I need to go to King's End. Yeah, so I'm not where I started the episode. Because I had to come right here to repair. There we go. And I need to talk to... To Brigdal. I think, yeah, this one. What is that? Denethor has burned himself alive? What a terrible tragedy. I'm glad that Faramir still lives, be it barely. Now let us hope his wounds can be healed so that the line of the stores does not break. Okay, so that's going to do it for this episode. I do hope you enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time as we continue the battle in the Pelennor Fields. Thanks for stopping by the Renaissance Gaming Monastery. I hope you join our community on Discord and Twitter. These videos are produced with a lot of hard work and love. If you think they're worth a dollar, I'd be grateful for your contribution. You can send a thanks donation or become a member on YouTube. You can also support through PayPal, Patreon, or even with cryptocurrency. All links are in the description. See you on the next video.